Hi there. My name is Corey Gaddy, Application Engineer for TPM. For our Four Minute Friday today, we're going to talk about cleaning up contours in Civil 3D. One of the largest complaints from senior engineers is how jagged contours come in when generating surfaces in Civil 3D. The process I'm going to show you today should help to quickly alleviate this problem. Okay, so let's get into the software. So we have feature lines for the parking lot, and we also have polylines over here that we'll use for our pond. We have a couple of additional feature lines in the parking lot for a high point, sort of a break point in the middle of the parking lot. Okay, and that has elevations on it, a couple of different elevations. And then we have our face of curve, back of curve for our islands. And then we have a couple low points around the curve for our inlets. One on the face of the curve and one on the back of the curve. So we'll go ahead and create a new surface. We can call our surface finish grade. We'll give it a style, propose surface, and go ahead and hit OK. Okay, so now we have this surface called Finish Grade. It doesn't have any data associated with it yet. We'll add our feature lines in as break lines and our poly lines in as contours. Okay, so we'll select one feature line, right click on it, select similar, and then it pulls in all the feature lines we have in the drawing. We'll deselect the ones we do not want. Alright, and then we can either right click, add to surface as break line, or we can go to our tool space, right click on break lines, add, and give it a name, finish grade, put in our weeding factors. I like to use 0 .01, 0 .01, 0 0.1, and 0.1. for my weeding factors. We'll go ahead and hit OK. As you can see now we have a surface based upon those feature lines. Okay, Hugs occur pretty well because of our weeding factors and our supplemental factors. So now all I have to do is add my polylines to my surface. So I can right click on contours and add. I'll call them building and pond. Specify my weeding factors 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.1, and 0.1. Hit OK. Then I select the polylines that I want to add. Okay, I'll grab all of those and then hit enter and they're added to the surface. So now I can start my cleanup. In order to clean up my contours, I'll just go to the contours, draw a polyline in the location where I feel like the contour should be. It's a series of clicks, lines, arcs, and radiuses. It's kind of generally following that contour in the location that I feel like it should be to make a nice clean surface. So now that I have all of my polylines drawn in, just four polylines, okay, 
four polylines with elevations on them. I can add those to the surface by right clicking on contours, add, I'll just call them cleanup. Give them my weeding factors, 0 0.01, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and 0.1, and add them to the surface. Once I click, you'll see that now the surface has been cleaned up with those polylines and the surface is following those lines. So there's a variety of other things you can do to clean up your surface, but those four polylines solve the issue of jagged contours. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.